So here's a, my Kershaw knives that I have. Um, I don't have a big collection, obviously, just three. Just want to compare them real fast, comment against them. Uh, so what we have here is the Kershaw Skyline. This is the least expensive knife. This is like a Walmart $34 knife. It has, I'm calling it the Swedish steel, but I may be completely wrong on that. Um, it's lower end steel. Very sharp, great, um, probably close to four inches in the handle, has the G10 on both sides, pocket clip. Um, in the middle here you have the Kershaw uh, OD1. It uh, weighs a little bit more, actually, I would say a decent amount of more than the Skyline. The OD1 has G10 on one side and stainless steel on the other side, so it's a uh, I, would, I guess it's a pretty looking knife, <laughs> stylish knife. The blade is not quite as long, I'd say this is sub three three inches. Um, I would say it's just as sharp, um, if not a hair sharper than the Skyline, and the point is a whole lot more pointy, um, dangerously pointy. Um, it has, this one has a, a flipper mechanism that's embedded into the knife so that's why it makes it look so stylish um, liner lock on that's actually a frame lock on this one maybe hard to see okay so let's close that see the, the flipper mechanism come out I've talked about this one a lot more before but um, I can't, I still can't deploy it with my index finger very well. It's too painful, too much force. So I'll use my thumb. And that's actually not too bad of a method to do it. It does, comes out fast, um, etc. So this knife's okay. I would say this is probably, again, this is a Walmart purchase. And this one is like right around the, thir the sorry, the $40 mark. Um, this one was about, five to six bucks cheaper than the uh, OD1. Um, so obviously this one has full liners in it on top of the G10, G10 or stainless steel. Then the premium knife I have here is the Kershaw Leak, the S30V version. Um, G10 on both sides, very light. Um, it is lined, very thin liner. This what knife doesn't weigh hardly anything. Um, it has the assisted opening, which is pretty cool. All right, you can deploy it with the flipper. Yeah, so it's really fast. Or you can use the thumb studs, which are a little easier to get to than on the Skyline. Notice that the uh, OD1 doesn't have any thumb studs. Okay, so the Kershaw Leak, uh, pretty good knife. It, it's much more expensive, of course. I think it was in the 65 to $75 range off the internet. Um, S30V steel, so obviously you're paying a premium for this the steel. Um, great knife, I have carried this one a lot. Uh, I wouldn't say I've used it a ton. It's pretty sharp. I wouldn't say it's actually as sharp as some of these other ones. But uh, dangerous, dangerous point. I don't know how many times I've accidentally stuck myself with it. You'll wake up right away with that thing. Um, G10 is extremely textured. Probably the most textured gripping uh, handle I have. Um, if you look real close at it in, under a microscope or, or macro camera, it almost is it's almost a flaky component to it, so you wouldn't want to maybe breathe too much in of it, <laughs> inhale against the knife for whatever crazy reason. Um, so that's that. Uh, so ranking wise, this being the most expensive, this being the least expensive. You know, um, you've heard my, I'll call it dissatisfaction with the OD1, so I would say the better buy, unless you're just really into style and the way things look on knives, which 
I can't say that's my number one buying criteria. I would say don't spend the extra money for the OD1. Get the Skyline instead. Um, if you really like Kershaw and you like the um, smaller size executive or gentleman's folder knives, then go for the Leak. Um, there's other cheaper Leaks out there, but I wanted to go for the assisted opening one. I wanted the high-end steel as well. This is actually a great buy for a knife that has S30V steel. Um, I mean, maybe it's just because the quantity of steel is so small, right? The blade's tiny uh, on this knife. Uh, that's why it's it, it's cheaper. So that's that's a cool factor. You can get into a knife that has that high-end you know, super sexy steel for a lower price. Check that one out if you don't mind spending the extra money. Ideally, if I could have my things my way, what I would do is probably have um, the Skyline Blade, so this blade with this, the Leaks Handle Texture keeping the skyline indentation and keeping the assisted opening and thumb stud usage of the leak. Basically, you know, all, all I guess all I'm saying is uh, the best knife for me of this style would be a blend of these two. Love the blade of the skyline. Don't like the blade so much of the leak. I like the steel. So take the shape, the steel, and merge those together, and uh, that's what I would think would be a really cool knife. But both of them are really good themselves, either way. Thanks all.